Hey guys, Tony here from Tony Tech Bytes, and this is the Noctua NHL 12 Ghost S1 Edition cooler that Noctua sent over to me for review. However, this video is not sponsored. So let's first go over the contents of this box. It includes the Noctua NHL 12 Loki Ghost S1 cooler, as well as a 92mm fan already strapped on, and NTH2 thermal compound, as well as a low noise adapter and the PsycheFirm 2 mounting system. You also get a couple of different manuals in here for different sockets such as AM4 and Intel's offerings. If you want to find out any more specific specs, I suggest you go on Noctua's website because I don't want to bore you and make this video way too long. A great part of this cooler is that the L12 and the L12S are supposedly some of the best low profile CPU coolers that can fit in the Loki Ghost S1, except this one officially supports it because the original L12 was kind of discontinued and the L12S required modification so you had to bend the heat pipes to fit inside the Ghost S1. But now there's finally an officially supported cooler made just for the Loki Ghost S1, though of course you can put it in different small form factor cases, as well as even mid and full tower cases if you really want to. There's also 48 millimeters of RAM clearance with this cooler, and I use Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM sticks. I don't remember the height for them, but it works perfectly fine, and I actually do have a little bit more clearance left, uh, but I don't plan on switching the RAM sticks anyways. As for mounting this cooler on my Loki Ghost S1 system, the SecuFirm 2 mounting hardware is fairly intuitive to use, and I won't go through every single step because that is just not necessary as the manuals do a way better job at explaining than I would. Noxua also includes a very long screwdriver inside the box, and it is very nice to see, especially if you don't already have a longer screwdriver. All right, let's go over some physical characteristics of this cooler. It features a 92 millimeter fan strapped on the underside of the heat sinks, and the fan is also set to intake, so it intakes air through the fins uh, straight onto the motherboard and then at the top of the Loki Ghost S1 case, and this works fine, and the fan being close against the heat sink versus on the other side where it's right against the side panel actually helps a little bit with turbulence. So this cooler is actually fairly quiet even at 100% load. I'll talk more about that later and show a sound test. In some ways, I feel like a 120 millimeter fan or a larger one uh, might work a little bit better because the 92 millimeter fan doesn't cover the entire heat sink, but based on the performance of this cooler, I don't think it matters too much. The fins on this cooler are also rounded at the edges so they aren't very sharp, and when you're holding it and installing it, you don't really have to worry about scrapes or any cuts, which I find pretty annoying for most other air coolers. At the base of the cooler, you have a nickel plated copper cold plate and it seems to be polished in a way that forms a spiral at the base and I'm not sure if that's better than if you had a mirror finish where you could see your entire reflection. And by the way, for the CPU, I'm using a Ryzen 5 3600X on the Asus RG Strix B550i as well as 16 gigabytes of 3600 MHz RAM and an RTX 2060 Super Founders Edition from Nvidia. The Noctua NHL 12 Loki Ghost S1 Edition has a nickel plated copper cold plate that is slightly larger than a consumer Ryzen CPU's IHS and that is great to see because a larger cold plate usually yields slightly better thermal conductivity. As for the heat pipes, there are four fairly long ones that connect to the aluminum fin stack and there are a ton of aluminum fins. With the Ryzen 5 3600X set to stock speeds and an ambient temperature of 78.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 25.9 degrees Celsius, I was getting about 83.3 degrees Celsius with Cinebench R20 and roughly 84 degrees Celsius was the maximum temperature I recorded. After about 5 runs, the average Cinebench R20 score was around 37.17 and I set the fan speed to 100% which was roughly 1800 RPM. And here's a sound test if you want to hear the fan. It was fairly quiet even while running Cinebench R20 at 100% fan speed. So take a listen. So I think the Noctua NHL 12 offers fairly great performance in the Loki Ghost S1 with the Ryzen 5 3600X that has a TDP of 95 watts. Uh, however, keep in mind it was set to stock. I also used Scythe's Thermal Elixir Thermal Paste instead of NTH2 because they sent that over to me before and I wanted to get rid of it before I started using different thermal paste. So you might actually see better thermal performance if you use Noctua's paste. So overall, I really like this cooler. It performs fairly well in Cinebench R20 and it definitely does not approach thermal throttling territory. Operation is fairly quiet as well since the fan is under the heatsink so it blocks out a little bit of turbulence noise. Then if the fan was at the front of the heatsink, right up against the side panel. 
So I'm gonna be leaving this L12 in the Ghost S1 because it uses up the space in the Ghost S1 in a more optimized way versus if I had a smaller cooler such as the AMD Wraith Spire, which just doesn't take as good use of the space. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to check out the Noctua NHL 12 Loki Ghost S1 Edition cooler, I'll link it in the description down below for your convenience. And by the way, it is an affiliate link, so I do earn a tiny bit of commission from it.